Um, let's see. So starting off with our, our new routine, uh, the current crop of release candidates is pretty thin. Um, there's the name update viewer, which uh, ended up with a weird name because it combined two things. One is an updater fix that we think fixes problems with that occur if the updater gets downloaded and then somehow gets deleted before you actually get around to executing the installer. Um, so that uh, that that's fixed. And the rest of the changes in that are changes to um, how the packaging is done that uh, clean up how the viewer channel is distributed and established uh, and some other some other startup parameters and um, and changes the package names to a nice uniform format that's the same for all the all the platforms so um, getting into why we need to do that is is more than I want to get into right now but it is cleaner simpler code now that we're now that it's done so um, I'm gradually reducing the number of places you have to change things in order to change the channel name. So uh, uh, that's all. That's all in there. Uh, that is doing very well, and will probably go to the default release early next week. Um, so uh, the other one that's out there now, we've got the interest list viewer, and I believe there's another iteration of the Google Breakpad viewer. Um, either out or in the pipe uh, to go out very quickly. Um, there was a maintenance viewer out there, uh, release candidate out there for a while. We withdrew that one because it turned out to have a really, really incredibly horrible crash rate. So um, that's getting another round of work before it comes out again. Um, so those are the current active ones. Um, there is, of course, the fitted mesh Project Viewer is out there. Um, it hasn't gotten heavily used heavily enough to have a meaningful crash rate yet. So um, it's not egregiously terrible, but it's uh, it's also small enough that it, it uh, the, the number of hours is small enough that I, I don't really trust the number for much of anything. Um, but we're getting very good feedback on uh, the new skeleton changes. Um, those changes should not yet be considered complete. Um, there, until we put it in a release channel, we consider it still subject to change. So feedback is more than welcome, uh, but uh, I, I don't recommend putting that in anything other than something labeled highly experimental. Um, so uh, let's see, a couple other Quick requests here. Um, Vivox made some changes. There, there are apparently some obsolete interfaces for presence data that were, at one time, uh, accompanied the, the 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 Vivox data. Um, they haven't been used in a long time, and they were cluttering up some and reducing performance on some databases that were getting used. So for other purposes, so. Uh, we have experimentally turned off those APIs and deleted data out of the, those tables on Aditi um, and expect to do so on Agni as well. Um, so if, uh, if you have voice and presence testing you can do on Aditi um, to make sure that we haven't stepped on or deleted some API that you're still using, um, now would be an excellent time to do that. Um, probably we will make the equivalent change on Agni uh, after the holidays. So um, that would be great. Um, silence will be taken as consent to make the changes. So uh, be warned. Are people hearing me? Yeah, we do. Yeah, okay, yeah, I good. You. Just that you guys are unusually quiet today. That's fine. That's because Jess isn't here. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> well. Um, 
Let's see. Uh, so then, um, AIS version three. Uh, we have Brooke and I believe Don, yes, here. So Don, why don't you jump in and tell people what you'd like tested and where? Don, I saw your voice disappear. Um, just yep, wanted back. to let you know you're up. <laughs> oh, awesome. Um, all right. So we were, um, this is, uh, talking about the inventory, um, uh, API version three that we have been working on for the past few uh, few weeks at least here. Um, we're currently at the point where load testing on our side um, is complete. Um, what we're looking for is kind of a final sanity check, final pass um, from actual users' content and actual you know user interactions um, with the new API. Uh, so this would be um, like a pylon um, that we're you know would be great to have on a DD. Um, just stressing. Um, there's a specific set of inventory operations that we will, will provide a list with um, that will target the new API. Um, of course, you'll have to be using a newer viewer with some of the newer code, um, you know, uh, uh, merged in. Um, and we'll do an A-B comparison um, of the old API v2 um, in one region. Um, you know, everyone move over to the, the v3 region, perform the same similar operations, um, and see what differences um, are occurring. The most expected difference would be that a lot of the operations that would just fail in V2 without sending back any error codes um, would be noticed by the viewer in the V3 scenario um, and would hopefully retry um, and, and more operations would um, run to completion um, as opposed to V2. Uh, so that's the long and short of it. Um, looking for uh, setting up some time uh, for a pylon at some point on a DD for a, a inventory services uh, version 3. So I guess the, the question that we have for you, thanks, Don, for um, providing that background, is when would be a good time for us to set that up? Um, and, you know, we can't wear a variety of the third-party viewers that have already integrated this code. <laughs> yeah, December 24th, uh, have fun. <laughs> Um, no, so um, we want, you know, obviously any third-party viewer that has already integrated the, um, the code that uses AIS v3 to participate uh, so we can get some real-life examples of the different viewers. Um, great. So, um, so, Don, what is sort of a reasonable load for us to put on a region? Um, I'm trying to think back to when we did the the, the pile on for um, um, baking appearances. That that was a good level. I think we had. I'm not sure if Nick's or somebody else is here. It was around 40 to 60. Okay, 40 ish. Yeah, that sounds about right. So let's say 40 to 50 or so people. That seems like the the rough roughly the, a good number to to load it down. So, so ideally, we would we would identify a time that would be great for you all to make this happen, and then we'll provide monitoring and logging and all that kind of stuff, so we can identify any um, any potential issues. Um, is uh, is early next week feasible? Um, and you know, is there a time of day that's better, et cetera? Um, and perhaps there's there's one or two people that we could work directly with as opposed to discussing this in the large group. Yes, you can get back to us on that. Um, yeah, so um, why don't you coordinate through me, um, you know, send me, if, if you think you can organize something, um, send me what the availability should be and, and I'll make sure that everybody who wants to hear about it does. Um, and if there's anything that we need to help you with, um, obviously I'll do whatever I can. Great, and thank you everyone. Um, you know, this is, we want this feature set to work 
as well as it can. So your help is definitely critical to that. Uh, okay. Um, so, yeah, so, so figuring out how, um, how much of a lead time we need to provide would also be helpful. So, um, you know, there's a, there's a slight possibility we could get this deployed before Christmas, but if, you know, if we can't get all the testing done, we would wait until the new year. Yeah, we're, we're not using V3 functionality yet, so. Got it. So maybe even early January is, is the best to shoot for. Um, yeah, okay. So um, let us let us know um, through me and I will I will uh, coordinate and we'll see if we can get some stuff done. Um, thank you folks for showing up and, uh, being here for this because uh, I'm not sure I could have represented it as well. Um, okay. And Monty asked for some time. Um, before we get to that though, I want to just, I'll skip ahead to an, an item I just realized I should have added to the agenda all along, um, which is our upcoming holiday, no change window. As most of you know, we don't. We try not to make changes at times when we're going to be short-staffed. Um, and, of course, the Christmas break is the biggest and longest of those. Um, so we will not be making Im intentionally making important changes between December 16th, beginning December 16th, through the beginning of the new year. Um, so... Uh, uh, you know, we're, we're, we've got a little bit more time to be doing things. So hopefully, for example, we can get a, at least one more viewer release done. Um, but uh, releasing general new viewers, releasing new simulators, um, changing out important backend systems, uh, none of that is, is going to happen during that, that no change window uh, unless there's some really deadly emergency. Um, and this is, you know, this is routine. This is what we normally do around around holidays, and especially long ones, um, and especially ones where people are liable to be uh, spending time in Second Life. Uh, so, <laughs> but um, we're gonna we're gonna see if we can uh, keep things nice and stable and quiet and not changing during that period. So. Um, it would probably be good if none of you also made major important releases that might cause support spikes for us or trigger new problems, uh, because we will have fewer people than normal to handle them, and we'd really rather not have people called back from their holidays to deal with emergencies if we can help. Uh, so, um, Monty wanted some time to talk about this a uh, terrific and, and exemplary project he's been doing with cleaning up libraries and how they're built and how they're organized and trying to get some of the packaging issues um, back under better control than they have been. So take it away, Monty. Uh, thank you. Um, I think this is less an exemplary project than an accidental project. That's <laughs> all started when I was just wanted to update the libcurl library so that we could start doing pipelining uh, the next round of h2e work but the more i looked into our code base and more and more looked at what uh, we've been doing with the third party libraries uh, the more problems i found so what's more that's fallen on my head is um at least a more consistent set of updates to a subset of libraries and perhaps reaching out a little further than that uh how where i'm going where the line will be drawn how much work will be done isn't settled yet but uh, it's already covering about a half dozen to a dozen libraries of which 
we have, looking at my chart on the wall, something on the order of 40 to 50 in total. Um, so, don't know where the line will be. But what I'm doing is um, refreshing code, building things consistently, making certain that there are uh, consistent references to the same build artifacts wherever possible, and um, generally doing things in a more rational and correct fashion. And two aspects of that are code management, what the third-party repos will look like, and code building, how we build things. And those are described in the two uh, attached Zlib references in um, today's agenda. Um, each of the libraries is going to get a new readme linen file, which describes what is going to be our third-party library repo structure conventions, uh, as well as what we have been doing to modify and uh, update that library for our own pers our own uses in Second Life. The build.sh is uh, the build scripts we use to build it Linden, and uh, partially reflects our environment based on Team City, our own customizations, things we do in house. Those are also getting updated to uh, get some new changes. Um, more control available outside of the build script, so you can carefully target what a build is going to look like. Um, consistent builds across three platforms. Introduction of unit tests, which have already discovered problems in our packaging. Um, what else? Ah, and consistent build options. Um, we build libraries many ways on many platforms, and I'm going to actually start targeting and try to get them to head in the same direction with the same options on a platform. So what I'm looking for is um, yeah, just a casual review. I'm not trying to solve everyone's problems with these two approaches, these two areas. This isn't going to magically give everyone 64-bit viewers tomorrow. It's not going to do other interesting things, but it's part of a path to that. And um, so I'm just looking for feedback from the developer it, crowd. It might make What's doing some good? of those other things someday uh, quicker and easier and therefore remove some of the impediment that we have to doing them now. They absolutely do do that. It's just, it won't get us all the way here. We still have decisions to make on 64-bit, for example. Um, will 64-bit viewers actually need 32-bit plugins? Uh, will Mac be a fat build, et cetera, et cetera? And you know, these are decisions that I am not going to dictate by just changing the repo builds. But I'm looking for feedback. I've got had some in email already. Uh, Tech Wolf, thank you very much. And I'm looking for more. If you want to catch or uh, fix some problems before I go live, please uh, help me. No schedule for this. Uh, <laughs> I've actually restarted this project at least several times in the past few weeks as I've discovered more and more issues. Um, it's resolving to a, what I think is a warm and comfortable spot. And... Uh, that will get me back on track to get pipelining out, which is the true focus of this. But we are going to try to do something about this built-in consistency in the third-party packages. And that's the word from Monty. Yeah, and um, on, a, on a slightly related note, um, it, at least in the sense of cleaning up how we manage dependencies between these, um, Cinder has been working on a set of auto build improvements that will also be a, a huge help when they get finished. So um, hopefully that will happen before before too long uh, and we'll be able to 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 bump up to the newer version of auto build that, that improves uh, the dependency management. It will at least let you know when you've linked two different versions of the same library, which uh, alas happens quite a lot in the current set of packages. Um, so um, you know, we're trying to sort of slowly push ahead on, on, on doing better, better management of these things from a number of directions. And I, I really appreciate Monty's contribution to that. Okay, which I think finishes our actual agenda items. So the floor is open.
Uh, or did you manage to figure out what was going on with the crash thoughts and singularity in being shown in a weird ways there? Uh, no, I did not. And I actually dug into it fairly as, as deeply as I knew how to do on my own. Um, uh, to for, for those of you not uh, uh, on top of that, um, Singularity recently changed their channel name from Singularity to Singularity Release at my request. It helps me do filtering. Um, and, uh, <clears throat> and, and despite that, uh, the same version number showed up both as Singularity Release and as Singularity, but with different counts on it. Um, and pretty substantial uh, number of, of both. Um, and I dug into the data fairly deeply, um, going all the way back to the original logs that I think it's all derived from, and I couldn't find where the Singularity without the release was coming from. So... I have asked for help from the team that that normally manages that stats pipeline, um, and we'll see whether or not um, that that comes out, and whether or not we learn anything from that, and and whether or not it keeps occurring in in future versions. I I don't know. Uh, so uh, uh, I'll I'll try to keep digging on that, but I I haven't gotten any response from the from the stats team about that. They're probably uh, getting um, a lot of pressure to do uh, end of year kind of numbers, number crunching things that uh, that I'm behind in the priority list. I, I don't know, but um, I, I know that there are certainly several other things that I'm I'm waiting for that that haven't gotten done. So this isn't the only thing they're they're not doing right now. It's a small team, and and they get lots of demands from many directions. Uh, so, we all have to be patient when we ask for things from them. Uh, but, no, I, I, I looked at those logs, and as far as I can tell, you're sending the right stuff, and I can't explain where those other numbers are coming from. So. Okay, we'll be getting starts on Monday, hopefully. We didn't get the... Uh... Uh, yeah, I had a computer meltdown this week. Um I may be able to go back and generate. No, I probably can't actually at this point. Um, no, it's okay. But, uh, if we get them on Monday, we'll see. Yes, if I will. There is any uh, change. I, I believe I will be capable of getting all the stats again on Monday. Um, so I will. I will bend over backwards to do that. Um, my the, the hard drive on my primary computer failed uh, over the weekend last weekend. And, I spent the first part of this week trying desperately to get stuff off of it that might or might not have been backed up. Uh, so uh, it was it was not a fun couple of days. Uh, I'm now semi-operational on a different box, uh, which has a better graphics card. But uh, so I'm seeing a more beautiful version of Second Life than I had been. Yeah, well, you know, hard drives are where you put your data until it goes away. Those of us who still remember hard drives whose magnetic surfaces were directly accessible to fingerprints and, and other things, uh, you know, have less faith in them than more recent things. No, well, that is bad. Yeah, but you learn to be paranoid that way. I always yeah. have a, at least, a, you know, triplicate of uh, all important data. So. Right, right. <laughs> well, I've got, I've got, you know, almost everything I do is on Bitbucket somewhere or, or an S3 bucket or a couple of other possible places. So I actually think I could recover pretty cleanly. Um, but, you know, I spent, a, I, I spent a few days trying to recover without having to start from scratch and, and, and then decided it wasn't going to work. So. Um, the Oculus Rift support. Uh, I have not heard... Uh, a projected 
date on that. Um, I mean, I know they 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 keep doing builds. They keep claiming that they're making new progress, um, and and I believe them. But uh, I have not seen um, I have not seen a date. Yeah. Um, well, we we all know that I've got a, a significant list of projects that have been making claims of that sort for quite some time, and we all know how few of them you've actually seen. So, uh, but it is it is in the list of of pending stuff. I'm hoping I'll get, you know, the fitted mesh stuff wrapped up before before there's lots of competition for release opportunities, but who knows? I missed part of that part of it earlier about voice due to RL being too noisy. Um, are the voice changes on a DD done grid wide or just specific regions? That's at this point that's grid wide. It's mostly oh. actually old presence data that was apparently used by some there was some specialized client for doing uh, voice from outside Second Life with people in Second Life and there was presence data to support that. Um, it was an experimental thing that didn't last very long and wasn't used very much, but apparently in the process it cluttered up a bunch of database tables. Um, and we just want to make sure that nobody started using its APIs uh, or, or somehow leveraging that data. So uh, we've done testing and not noticed any problems with our viewer, but of course that's that's only step one. Okay, okay. I'll test our uh, 442 and, and our beta as well. Two weeks from now would be uh, the first day of Lyndon's uh, Christmas break, so we will not be meeting then. Um, our next meeting is going to end up uh, this one, barring some drastic emergency, will be January the 3rd. Yes, that's what it was, S-L-I-M. -S Thank you. I, I was spacing the name. I don't think any of the viewers actually use any of those APIs. So. That would be good, since they're going away. As usual, Whirly is a is is an infallible index of. I, I wish I had your memory, Whirly. You can't have Whirly either. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I, that's been made pretty clear, but, you know, we'll see. <laughs> we're, we're willing to share her, but ownership... I don't think uh, Alexis is going to give up anytime soon. No. Um, and all your worldly are belong to me. <laughs> that's okay. I've got her uh, soul stored uh, off, 
off world. Here in RL, I have our soul stored. Soul stored. So uh, you know, if you want it, you're gonna have to come here first. <laughs> we'll dual add. <laughs> um, you're a Linden. That's not fair. I mean, it's smart. <laughs> it's smart. Aside aside that, I'm not that. sure you want to take on Alexa. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not going there. <laughs> all right. Um, anything else, or do we all get to knock off for the weekend oh, early? Uh, where's Baker? Uh, I I, don't uh, know. I didn't ask that today, so I just had to ask. He's yeah. around. I'm not seeing him in world right now. Uh, no, we haven't. We haven't made any progress on the on the uh, animation stuff lately. I don't think Trinity can hear you. We, um, the um, we we do have. Uh, server APIs coming soon. At this point, they won't make it out before uh, the before the new year um, because they're not in the pipeline. That that they're not that far into the pipeline. But there there's a new uh, the new caps are integrated for providing the LSL syntax data from the from the simulator. That's that's gone in. And um, what was the other one? Uh, and the other one is a, a an API for setting um, setting default permissions on object creation um, that Jonathan worked out with uh, Andrew. So uh, those are those are coming up, and that'll be that'll be good stuff for you to integrate when it when it reaches release. Um, fitted mesh is we're we're getting very good feedback on fitted mesh. Um, and we're continuing to make changes based on that feedback. Uh, we're pretty happy with how that's going. Um, having more people involved in that would, would be a good thing. Um, so if you have um, folks who are proficient at manipulating meshes and rigging things and have opinions about it, now is the time for them to be involved. Um, this is one of those times when Things are in flux and can be changed. So um, get get on it. Um, it is still up in the air whether or not we will do the uh, what is the repo for that again? Um, uh, one of the things I don't have is my bookmarks. Uh, but I can get it in just a second. There it is. Uh, oh, that's not right. Yeah, there we go. The one Whirly did was was the was the better one. I copied the wrong one. Um, so, in fact, I should update that where I copied it from. There we go. Um, yeah, this is, this is, uh, the, we are not going to make we, we have never made changes to the avatar skeleton casually, um, and we're making a round of changes now, and we are wildly unlikely to make another round of changes for years. So um, if there's feedback to be had, this is the time to have it. Uh, so... Nah, most of them are going to wait until afterwards and then complain on us. Come on now, you know the routine. Yes, but yes. We'll be, we'll be. but but by virtue of my having made the statement I just made, I'm going to be.
just amazingly well inoculated against such complaints. It's not going to bother me even slightly. What's the reasoning for the delay? What delay is that? Oh, you mean for how long it took us to make up our minds about, about how to deal with this problem? Um, because it took us a long time. Uh, I, 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 um, mostly it took a, a long time. It, if you think carefully about it, lots of the people who were who were involved in deal, who were expert on the things needed to be done uh, for server side baking were the same people we needed for thinking about this. And guess which one got priority? Not hard to guess, given what order they came out in. Um, once I got the people involved, actually, the decision didn't take that long. But uh, that's that's. That's fundamentally, that's what it's all about. Uh, so, uh, but we've we've got a strategy. We're in the implementation phase. We're going to get this done. Well, if if you've got somebody who 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 can look at these things um, and 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 provide feedback that our that our uh, modeling folk will will understand and appreciate the value of, uh, which, by the way, doesn't include me. Um, uh, by all means, get them engaged. Uh, we're, since we're not going to be doing any releases of this uh, in December, uh, any real releases, there may be another project viewer update in, in December, but uh, it certainly won't go to the release channel in December. Um, there is still a little bit of time, but that link you posted to the repository is uh, is a private repository. Can't see it. Uh, yeah, the Storm nineteen eighty five one is the correct one. That's where I moved it when I made it public. Yes, that was the, the the Linden Lab internal one was the private one, but that content has been moved to Storm nineteen eighty five. And that will that will certainly get at uh, you know a rebuild next week if we go ahead with releasing the name updater viewer. Uh, there may or may not be other changes at the same time. We we just put out a bunch of changes, so we're going to probably let them get fiddled with for a while before we make any more. Uh, but this this last round, they got rid of the handle bones because it turns out they weren't really good for what they were meant for. And he added some new ones in the back. And tweaked how the skin weighting was was working to make make it all work better yeah uh, so we are we are determined to get this done And that will probably be a a significant bump to the viewer version number because, it, as you know, it won't be 100% compatible. It should be all old avatars should still work on it, but garments rigged for the new thing are going to look funny on on viewers that don't have the new bones. Um, it, it doesn't make any fundamental change to how avatar body shapes are handled, but there there are changes to the to the. Uh, it, it should be compatible with existing skins. If you are interesting, um, has has as you know spent a fair amount of time in the release channel. Its crash rate has not been good, and they're working on repair. Trying to find what the new crashes are. This is this is one of those this is one of those success cases actually um, that that 
that, that's painful, but it's actually a success, which is we put it out there. I mean, we tested it as well as we could possibly think of how to test it. And then when we put it out in the real world, we discover that there are cases that our testing doesn't hit. Surprise, surprise. Um, Second Life has a lot of variety and uh, a, a, an obscene range of, of systems that it runs on and so forth. Um, and so uh, it had a pretty horrible crash rate. And um, yeah, it's getting better, um, but it's it's and they're they're trying to put together an update, but there's still a couple of pretty serious ones that they haven't they haven't been able to hunt down yet. And um, the uh, the 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 next update, I I think they hope to get an update out before the no change window uh, prevents that, but. Um, uh, it's it's still you know in progress, and uh, the the wonderful thing about our new process is that the fact that they're having difficulties doesn't block other projects from getting things done. So it, that that part of the this whole thing is working really well. Um, uh, there, um, who is handling skeletal system at the moment? There there are there are a, a few people that are that are contributing to that. Um, the way to do to deal with it is to just file fit mesh issues, uh, and the right people will will handle whatever they are. Some of them, it depends on what it is. Um, uh, if you need if you need uh, contact, send me an email oz at Linden Lab, and I'll try to coordinate whatever needs to be. Whatever needs to be coordinated. Yeah, the the uh, project interesting in particular is hoping to get get an update out so that it uh, it can have lots of testing. Um, the fitted mesh viewer, relatively few users have have actually um, been running it. I mean, as numbers of Second Life users go. Uh, so, um, it probably won't get high volume testing until it becomes a, a, a release candidate. You know, purely opt in. It's it's getting relatively few users. I don't e I don't even think it's gotten up to two thousand unique users yet, which is a very small number. Um, anything else, or did we get to go home? All right, barring uh, barring big problems, uh, we will see you on the new year. Group bands, I have no update. Um, January third, and yeah. us happy ho ho and merry uh, new year. Yeah. Thank you, and and all of you too. Um, do something, do something uh, really great for New Year's, and we'll see you in 2014. And poof. I guess we're done.